Good evening. It's actually evening now as well. Look, it's, well you can't see. Can you see? No, it's dark outside. It's quite dark in here. Tonight, we are having a theme night on camp because we've got to do something to occupy our brains. So it's rock night. So we're all dressing up like, um, well, it's meant to be 80s. I think I have it's a bit more 90s than anything else. But um, I put eyeliner on, but use a Sharpie. I recommend not using a Sharpie for eyeliner because it stings really bad. But I'll not be doing that again. But... Again, we are trying to amuse ourselves because we are pretty bored. I do know that on Sunday night, we're having Spice Girls night, which should be really good also. We're all going to dress as our favourite Spice Girl and have a Spice Girl themed night where we just listen to Spice Girls. Uh, tonight, it is uh, 80s-ish rock night, um, which should be also fun. And I, You know, I kind of dress like an 80s rocker anyway, usually, but not quite with this out and that, but... Try to make extra effort. Should not not be that easy. But anyway, I hope you all enjoy a few clips from that, and we'll see where things go from here. Now, what I will say is, all those of you that are about to say social distancing, oh, do the rules not apply to you? We are a part of the same household. The police have already confirmed that to us. We're allowed to be together. We've all been isolated together for over a month. We've not got any symptoms, so we're allowed to be together. I get it a few times in YouTube comments saying little things that, you know, we're sat too close together at the barbecue and that. We are literally allowed, being given permission to do that. I just want to clear that up before any of you start crying because I know what you like, all right? So just calm it, zip it, throw away the key. Stop. Let's get on with fucking rock night. Uh, rip into right. Vince for making no effort at all. I'm, yeah. I'm <laughs> fucking, this is how I'm was born mate uh, this what, is what, 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 uh, this what is, is a that? new jacket that <laughs> this is 90s so Vince has come in his yes we do this makeup please because I'm going Vince has come as an 80s train spotter oh, no, Lorraine's made to effort you look nice I yeah. haven't really I've just done some bangles and some leather jacket can I have that leather jacket no if you um and I've got, I've got a skull this, on my t-shirt but it's got VWI and you went for the uh, check shirt like me as well oh, I've got yeah, oh, yeah, I've got yeah. check shirt oh have I you're right, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got no camera shy. Oh, that's good. It lit, up, it lit up for me as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, wow. Should have really had more to drink by now, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. Wow, look at all the effort you made. <laughs> You're such an annoying cunt. Wow. Edit that Woo! out. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Stand Vince. Up. Vince. Right, you. Vince, Bye. Vince, just come here a sec. Let me see what you look like talking to the police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is the first time driving the van since I fitted the power steering pump. And it's the most bizarre experience ever. <laughs> the steering wheel is so twitchy. And every time I go around a slight bend, I'm like, oh, just feel so, oh, it's working anyway. That's good, isn't it? So when, uh, when I go to a supermarket and I need to park up, it's light as a feather. But right now on this road, I'm all over place. Anyway, last night's rock night went well. There was some very well dressed people. The highlight was obviously uh, Vince's makeup and uh, the police turning up and him having to talk to the police whilst wearing makeup. The police were rather amused by that. Um, yeah, good, good, good evening. Um, today I'm on my way back into Sheffield to go do my usual weekly routine of um, washing, uh, picking up my post. 
Uh, what else can I do? Uh, filling up my water and all that kind of thing. I've got a feeling I'm going to be low on gas soon, so I might get that swapped out. And uh, yeah, so probably spend the night in in and around Sheffield or the Sheffield area. Uh, and I'll probably head back to camp tomorrow. Um, would just like to add also, when the police arrived yesterday, the police didn't arrive to tell us off. The police came to do a welfare check again and uh, were very amused by um, the costumes that everybody was wearing. Uh, again, the police have been brilliant. Um, the police came around later, about 2am 2, 2 as well apparently, to check everybody was alright and they've been around this morning as well, so they've, they've been absolutely great. One thing I have noticed though is how much busier the Peak District has gotten since the weather's changed. So yesterday and today, already the Peak District is busy. The, uh, the road that we are parked on, uh, there were new vans, holiday makers. Uh, people that stayed just for one night uh, last night people are uh, getting a bit bored of lockdown I think and uh, pushing 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 the boundaries a little bit now I'm not really sure what my personal opinion of that is it's totally understandable but um, But yeah, it's naughty, isn't it? But totally understandable. <laughs> Who knows how long this lockdown's gonna last for now? I've got a funny feeling it's not gonna last too much longer. The people are not gonna accept any more lockdown. And I think they're probably gonna have to start introducing measures to relax the lockdown very soon. Um, especially with opening shops and things and allowing people to go to different kinds of shops. I really could do with Curry's PC World opening, if anybody, if, if Boris is watching this, I need to take my TV back because it's broke. So, for the last 15 months-ish, I've been dealing with this pump tap here. However, said pump tap broke. I was going to replace said pump tap with another pump tap, but it didn't arrive. So, I bought this. We're now going to have an electric tap for the first time ever in this van. Now, the reason why I didn't fit an electric tap in the first place is because I wanted to keep it minimalistic and I didn't want to run wires from over where the batteries are around the back of the cupboards to here. But today's the day I'm going to do that. Well, maybe not today. I'm going to start doing it today. I don't know if I'll finish it. Maybe I'll finish it. Maybe I'll just screw it up there and hope for the best. I take now. So I just got this little tasty treat from the post. Ooh. Are you ready for this? So, Martin at Fossil Metals, the guy that made me uh, the axe pendant, has just made this for the dog. It says Princess. And it's solid silver again. It's so weighty. 
and it's got Swarovski crystals in it as well, which is Ooh, shiny, 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 shiny. I not I'm not sure how I'm gonna attach that to the dog because she's a absolute nightmare. I don't know where that soundtrack's coming from. But also, it's not the only thing that Martin at Fossil Metals has sent me. Oh no, no! I have this. Now this is an absolute treat. So this is 0.999 proof, uh, and it's 2.3 ounces of silver. Check this out. Now, those eagle-eyed of you out there will understand what this is. And this is actually a replica of the tattoo on my chest, which I'm a bit sunburned today, so I'll just have to show you like that. But essentially, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. now. How amazing is that? Actually in shock. How good that is. I didn't ask for this. I didn't even know he's making it. I just got a message one day saying, look what I've made for you. And look at the size of it. I'm like a gangster with that around my neck. I don't have a chance to put it on now. Should I put it on now? I might have to, I'd have to take the, have to take the ax off. I quite like the ax. Might need a bigger chain for this one. <laughs> like beer baracus. Oh, that's a nine. Wow, is that? Check that out. Oh. That's a massive bit of metal, that is. Whoop! <laughs> so, anyway, thanks to Martin. Um, I still have one or two of these axes left. I think they might be listed online. If not, you should message me, because these are amazing. I might just even auction this one off, maybe. I don't know whether I'll wear it myself or not. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon on the next one. Hopefully it won't be too long before I can uh, find something interesting to film. <laughs> Love you all, bye. Bye, Felicia.